Go Light presents the Talking Bollocks podcast. The Hip Knocker. Boom, support the talking bollocks comes from Manscaped, the best in the business for below the waist grooming. The products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Right, here we have the performance package Manscaped that's sending us out. Quality. Yeah, we have ball toner and we have it trimmers as well and there's a fucking light and all on it. We also have a pair of jocks, Manscaped jocks, I'm all over them. Yeah, and it all comes in a little travel case as well. So that's a handy one. No matter where you go, on the road, you can always... Now that you're in safe hands. Top of the range. Come here, they're giving us a 20% off a code for Talking Bollocks listeners exclusively. So if you use GoLow20 at checkout. On manscaped.com. You get free worldwide shipping as well. Yeah. And they that. also sent us out the weed whacker, which is why I know hers, because it's not just downstairs that needs trimming, it's upstairs as well. Manscaped, have you looking your best and feeling your sharpest. Boom, episode 73 of the Talking Bollocks podcast, brought to you by GoLow, the home of Irish podcast. It's me, Terry Flower. It's me, CLB. And this week we're joined by... Anna Clifford. Anna Clifford. Anna, how's things? I'm good, how are you guys? I'm all good. Fucking sweating in this studio. What is the story? We're Very warm, warm, isn't it? Yeah. Can we get a petition there to uh, get rid of aircon in the studio, lads? Honestly, this it's is not acceptable. Isn't it that we're not allowed to have her over? I don't believe that, that's a myth. Just get some people with fans, you're sure you're big enough now. It's <laughs> corner like... <laughs> Sit down and just blow arrows. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. Just some heat off them tellies as well, boys. There's no need. Fucking hand. No, we are right. Right, Harry, kick us off there. Zingers from last week, yeah? Straight in, yeah, come on. Jocks off. Right. See when you wake up in the morning, Annie, yeah? Yeah. What's that stuff called that's in your eyes? Sleepy Green stuff. gummies. What the fuck <laughs> she had to say? Isn't it? Sleepy gummies. Sleepy gummies. Yeah. That sounds like something you get in the shop. <laughs> you not eat them after. You go, yeah. it's, like, it's like picking your nose. Just go. Oh, that's disgusting, <laughs> Anna. Straight sleepy in. gummies. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I've always called them sleepy gummies. Stay on the shop for a bottle of Coke, a bar, and the rest in sleepy yeah. gummies. What do, you, what do you want? Get us some sleepy gummies. It sounds it's like so frightening when you wake up and your eyes are shut together with sleepy gummies. <laughs> That's an infection. You want to get that looked at? <laughs> I think I. It's called cack. <laughs> yeah, someone's had to be wimped a hole in the pillow. It's called, uh, we call it cack. Cack? Yeah, that cack. Is shit on your pillow, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the a lot of people said gunk. Gunk, yeah. And gick. I thought, it was, I thought people just called it sleep on like on its own. As a yeah, it can, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Cack. Cack, yeah, we call it cack. Yeah. No? Interesting. Sleepy gummies. Sleepy gummies. <laughs> I'm baffled. Yeah. Obviously, my man Dara said that to me once. Yeah, but you're a fully grown woman now. Would you be like, oh, I woke up this morning with a load of sleepy gummy in me eye? Yeah, but like, I haven't got sleepy gummies in years. I don't know, I'm baffled. <laughs> I just can't take you serious now, knowing that like, that's what you call <laughs> what it. What a great start, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's you... go back. What, what will I call it? Just call it. Cack, cool. cack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cack, isn't it? <laughs> right. Well, the thing I want is sleep or cack. <laughs> so sleepy gummies is just out there, yeah? <laughs> 75% said sleep, 25% said cack. All oh, right, okay. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Sleep right. is mainstream. Khaki yeah. gummies. Yeah. <laughs> Khaki gummies, yeah. That sounds a lot yeah. better, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> right, the other one, Anna, this one is uh, a bit more important. Mm, okay, Jesus. <laughs> Would you rather have bland filled or bland sex for the rest of your life? That is so hard. That oh, it is. Genuinely. Isn't it? Like... Like that's, that's so tough. One of the hardest things we've ever had, and we've yeah. had a lot. Yeah, like, I don't know. You should have prepped me with that one before, because I need <laughs> yeah. to think about, like, a good reason. Like, I honestly put that up on my Instagram. Are you a fussy eater? Uh, I'm a vegetarian, so that's not fussy. Just decided to be, like, sustainable at seven. But, um... <laughs> 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 but... Oh, like I love food like so much and I could talk about food yeah, forever definitely this like, is what I was thinking yeah like I talk like... about it forever and ever and I, mm. I literally actually this is the thing when you wake up in the morning right first thing I think before I leave the bed it's probably usually what am I having for dinner like that's what gets me through the day and then yeah. it kind of sex comes no, after that like oh I'm horny but there's no one beside me or whatever and then it's kind of like why do I have to get up and why are we here so that's kind of the way my brain works <laughs> so maybe oh I don't know yeah I want to be cool and say she no sex kidding. but I'm yeah. like food food yeah. food it's she, probably there for me more she, than see when you got a nice <laughs> burger that was somewhere yeah. it's great and there is no better feeling mm. but if you have good sex that'll put you in good form for three days Yeah, a good burger longer. won't 
Long I know, but like bland long food. Long but food's never hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> well, the point, she makes, she well, makes a good argument. There was a lot of people <laughs> giving the loads in the DMs as well. Oh, bland sex is shit and all. Like, yeah, all right, yeah, 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 calm yeah. down there, mate. Mr. Porn Pornstar over here. Oh, Everybody yeah. was an animal yeah. in the DMs. Oh, me yeah. 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 No one's ever had an off day, like, you know what I mean? All right, missionary, calm down there. Yeah, because like, yeah, how often do you have like really good sex? Like Will out the in-betweeners in the sack, you know, just all hip movement, like. Not every Everybody's a fucking animal like you, mate, but... <laughs> That's yeah. why I said last week, it's not always the girl. Sometimes just... Like, you have a bad day. Like. You do have a bad day. It happens to the best talk. of us. Yeah. Yeah. It happens it's to the best. It's a balance, though. You need yeah. the both show up. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't, you can't be just saying... Be into it, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I'm not happy. <laughs> That's something that we talked about before, that, like, the girls... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Grand. <laughs> We're locked off the bat. Um... <laughs> Something we talked about before was the fact that girls are under the impression that they just have to show up. It's not like that. <laughs> 2022, you want to be bleeding putting your weight in. <laughs> no? You know what yeah, Exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm around I saying that. I thought that girls, like... Ah, no, but we, we had this before. I remember girls thinking. were like, no, it's all on the fella. And yeah, like, it's all mm, up to you. No, no, no. It's a balance. Yeah. Yeah, you you know? I think men just feel like they have to show up. They have an yeah. ego. Yeah, yeah of course. You don't, many of them just throw it in and early doors, it's gone. Mm. And you'll think about that for days. She yeah. won't. But then you're thinking that she's thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, she happens. thinks I'm shy. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Then you're like, round two needs to happen ASAP. Yeah, I need to redeem myself. Yeah, man. Well, like I said, you can't be a man of the match every week, so... You can't be. Well, you're only as good as your last show, though, aren't you? True, <laughs> true. That's, that's true. That's that valid point. <laughs> no, she is right. But <laughs> if you put in a solid shift, follow boy, like an average shift, I'd still be like, yeah, but remember that last time? Yeah. Before that yeah, was legal, wasn't it? Yeah, you would be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you can average time, it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If it's the first time, you're snookered. Oh, yeah, bollocks. Yeah. Bollocks. Because yeah, you probably won't even get it. You won't get your foot back into the door now. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck. But I like to, to see, when you asked me this last week, I literally got put on the spot and I was like, uh. Yeah. But like, there's nothing like a good dish. Yeah. A lot of flavour and all like that. But imagine just saying, right, look, you're going to have a plain chicken fillet and rice for the rest of your life. Like that's the plainest thing you can think of. Yeah, that is on the foot lots of people eat. But would you would you compromise? No. What I do don't you mean? Know, like, because imagine now like you can tell you like that, but imagine every time you're horny and want to have sex and it's just gonna be oh it's like you just be had mediocre. it to have it. Well yeah, yeah. it's just still there. And then maybe you can like play with yourself and that can be really good. So yeah. Good sex, good masturbation and bland. Yeah. No, black good food. Ma- great masturbation. Grand. See, my argument to this was Perfect. That That's actually grand. You're like. going to eat more than you're going to have sex for the rest mm. of your life. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. It is a tough one, though. Mm. I just can't talk about sex as well. I don't understand that. Yeah. I, I don't know. understand. I just can't do it. You can't talk about it. I just I just get like this. Yeah. I start stuttering and all. Oh, oh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't process. Yeah. Like A lot of people would text me saying that's Catholic shame, and, yet, and all. I was like, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to know, confession, you know? yeah. I don't know, but yeah, anyways. Yeah. yeah. You'll get better the more you do it. If, if that's you think you that, wouldn't you? Do. think that 73 episodes <laughs> in, I still can't fucking do it. Every singer is about sex, So, bland filled? Yeah. 61% of people Ooh, rather have bland filled. That's like kind of, yeah, like where we're at, isn't it? Mm, and 39% of rather have bland sex. So I think the people that went bland filled off the bat haven't had a good, like, they don't have it's a good like variety of food. food. Isn't that what yeah, it's they, they haven't had a good food. variety of food. Yeah. yeah. They just like, oh, yeah. what they do you have? A chip yeah. yeah. In the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe they have, but just not with food. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Kitchen table job. Yeah. Right, we'll move on before I end up pumping my foot now. Camera <laughs> boys. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sing us for this week. Sorry, someone suggested that we should put a basketball hoop somewhere yeah. and then try and hit that every I week. would be throwing be jugs, these glasses, everything. phones, everything. everything. Just m- mid talk. The whole time. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Fuck the game. Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, sing us for this week. Right. Do you want to go first or will I? You go first. I think mine's better than yours. Yeah, well, that's funny because th- my one is your one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's better. <laughs> right. Uh, would, you rather only able, would you rather only be able to show for the rest of your life or whisper? Oh, man. Um, hmm, hmm. What's that tattoo on your finger? Uh, it's a banana. Why did you get a banana on your finger? Because you can do that and say, let's split. I don't know. No? I kind Sound. of like that. It might be, yeah. Just I like it. And then I'm What? <laughs> Absolutely. And to eat it on my finger or something? I don't know. Because you're going to split, no? Ban- oh, yeah, banana split. Mm. Yeah. 
Well. Yeah, I don't know. I have like, and then I have a heart on my finger. I got a session and like a smiley face. I just have ki- like child's <laughs> drawings on my hand. Oh, I'm having it. How <laughs> many tattoos have you got? Six. Talk or shoot them. Uh, smiley face on my wrist. That reminds me when I wake up on a Tuesday, I'm like, was I in a club last night? Fuck. <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> you know, when you say, huh? Uh, I've got all the world's a stage and writing on my. All the world's a stage? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's Shakespeare. It means we're all acting. Yeah. Are we though? Right now, used to just acting. Okay. We're just performing. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, just we're not acting, we're performing. Yeah. Uh, banana. Split. Yeah. Love heart. Yeah. Yeah. I've got another love heart in red behind my ear. Okay, two and love I've hearts. Got a harp on my. What's that called again? Ankle? <laughs> That's a calf. That's your leg. A calf, is it? Yeah. yeah like, but sort of. A Ryan, for my love of Ryanair flights. <laughs> <laughs> but I love a Guinness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> really, would you have that? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. What, the harp? Yeah. Just kind of, I was like, I want something Irish, but not like a, like a fucking jam rock or something. Yeah, I mean? so the harp. Yeah. Wait, well, right. you don't get any of them done? Um, I was... Uh, after work Christmas party I got three of them done like the next morning I was definitely still drunk I think and just said bash them all and out this together. one actually was at a so this is stick and poke so I was at a session at 5am yeah so that makes sense and I, when I woke up I was like oh, gee, that could have been a lot worse to be honest couldn't it yeah. what do you want uh. yeah it could have been I would have got one on my face or yeah something like across your face yeah. or something yeah. like you know what I mean <laughs> anyways the zinger would you rather only be able to whisper that shell for the rest of your life Um. That's a hard one. I oh, like so hard. I think it's easy. Just just put yourself... Well, we, we don't like, even know how to whisper. I talking yeah. normally, you know? I'm but not really a shouter. And yeah. I'm not really a we don't really have a choice. Like we, we just shout. Yeah, just shout. And it's yeah. Like yeah. easy. It's That's, I don't have a choice. It's shout, yeah. I'd but r- if you I had think I'd option. rather whisper and then I'd carry around a microphone with me. <laughs> That's rather than shout, because you can't take that down. But you? then mm. you can't even tell a good story. You know when you're about to tell a story? Yeah. And you're like, and then she shout. You yeah. to bring it, you had to bring out fucking interpreter with you. Yeah, and then she could do all the yolks in the background, do you get me? I mean, you said this to me on the phone, and my board was beside me, and she was just naturally talking loud, like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't hear you. <laughs> and she's like, you're just constantly shouting all the time. I was like, I'm just talking normal. Oh, we get that all the time. Like, like, did you hear the noise was walking around this building? Yeah, Everybody's yeah, yeah. like, oh, they're in. They know when you you're here. It's great. Yeah, it is great. Yeah. I remember you said to me before, I tried to whisper to you, and you sat laughing, and I was like, what are you laughing for? And was, you were like, you're saying this so loud. I was like, am I? It was something serious. I tried to whisper it oh, to you, remember? Yeah, yeah, And you were, yeah. you were laughing because you're like, you're not because actually you saying this very loud. You don't actually have an indoor voice. No, this no. is me. I just have a voice. Just a voice. Yeah. That's it. Well, there we are. Oh, but if, if you had the option, though, need. only whisper or only shout. So if you pick only shout, you're, imagine you're at a funeral. Yeah, and you're trying to... Imagine you're trying to... Well, you should be talking at a funeral anyway. Yeah, 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 do you know mm. what I mean? I don't have any shapes, I just tell everybody anyways. Oh, right. No, yeah, right. You're right, yeah. yeah. Open book. Be, be transparent. What are we going with? Show, whisper? Mm-hmm. Show. Show. Whisper, show. Bifty. Okay. Right. Short. <laughs> have you got a singer? Have I got a singer? I'm at the point you're on the spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would, oh, wait. Right. What's the, how, did you, how did you start it up again? Would you rather? Not Whatever you, rather. you want. Yeah. Would, <laughs> would you rather? Lots of drinking games, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, would you rather never listen to music again? <laughs> Or never be able to sing again. Music. Oh, I'd a never. Singer? Never be able to sing. Do you enjoy singing like in the shower or anything? No. Do you reckon I'd be a good singer now? Honestly. Yeah, I'd say like yeah, I'd say like. Share a pipe, I mean, like. Yeah. Mm. No. Like in the pub, like uh, like lock in and they they're singing the. Yeah, and the wolf tones. Yeah, come on. I'd mm. say you could do that. There's murder in the pub. <laughs> there, <isn't it>? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. Obviously, I, I don't like singing. Yeah, so. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You like an old little sing song? You like an old little sing song, bro. So, like, I'm really I still bad rather at listen to music, though. Like. What would you rather? I don't know, because I love, I love singing, but song. I'm very yeah. bad. No, I'm very bad, <laughs> Jesus. I didn't the world is back. a stage, sing us a song, no? <laughs> <laughs> On the spot, and she panics. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sitting over there, pouring a lace and all, <laughs> getting ready to run. Get nervous and I hold my leg. Um, no, I didn't get into my primary school choir, so I know I'm a bad singer, you know? Yeah, but that's different. Yeah. Choirs are singing. Of course, I'm different. What do you want to sing? I'm joking about. I'll go with the music. I'll go with the music. Jukebox, fella? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like Other people can sing better than me, so I'd rather li- only be able to listen to them. So I don't see, you know what I mean? Uh, what's your one? Have a good singer. Someone's yeah. entering into there, yeah? Okay. Would you rather know how the world started or how the world will end? See, this is deep. 
oh, genuinely stirred. Like, I need to know what the fuck shame. is going on. I am the same. Like, I don't want to know how it's going to end. Yeah. How it ends. <laughs> like, a meteor or something will hurt us and bits yeah. and puddle of dust. Like, Who gives a rat? I won't be. Well, how the fuck up is the dirt hell, like? Boys, yeah. I said this today to, when I was in work, remember when you rang me and said it? Yeah. And I said it to one of the boys and the tools went for lunch and we got into it. It was deep. Right, fill me yeah. in, fill me in. So what I said was, I don't see how you could pick why it will, well, how it will end because there's so much <laughs> yeah. is going to depict on what we do is going to end the world, I think. But then it's, it's going to be... Exciting, it? well, not, not really, I think it's because... Like, <laughs> like, it's going to end 15 years, we're like, oh, fuck, You have fuck. global warming, <laughs> you have war, you have famine, and you have stuff like that. And this is constantly just a cycle of that. Like, this is what's going to happen if we don't do this. And it's just constantly... Since we've been alive, we should have been dead about 20 times, at least. It's just constantly all this, yeah. right? Whereas, what happened before? Like, we had the Big Bang, and then the world all came from that. But, like, what was there before the Big yeah, Bang? Yeah, nobody actually knows. Do you like, what was there before? Like, no that's what I want to know. Tell you. Yeah. And that's what I find bizarre. I'm like, someone tell us the What truth. was there before? <laughs> it? Like, the Big Bang was all these particles collided together and then exploded. But, like, what, what yeah. made them collide? Yeah. And, like, the universe is constantly expanding. Where is it expanding into? What's in that empty space? <laughs> and then someone said, there's a theory that it's constantly expanding, and then it'll expand so far, and then start coming back again. And implode, and that's what causes and the big bang. So there's a cycle of that, and I'm like, oh my god, my and mind is we'll blown. End, and then I'll start again. Yeah, you know what I mean. So what was there before? Who actually knows that? Before it happened the last time. So what um, was there before that? You know what I mean? Articles. Deep. <laughs> my head wrecked. Demi, it's oh, too much, isn't yeah, it? That's why I don't I, look into that. That's why like I can't this. get up out of bed yeah. in the morning. Well, I point. So I think we're all going with how the world started. Yeah. 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 Right, fifty. That's yeah. it. Right, I am. <laughs> and now we're Went scared. Fuck <laughs> me, man. We have big news, Terence. Oh. Bollocks, yeah. I don't understand how we've actually got this far into the podcast without actually mentioning this. Cause I forgot actually, about it. Do you think that you're repressing it? Because I think I am. Like purposely? Or yeah. subconsciously? Yeah, scared? just... Yeah, kind of. Yeah, right, Do you know what's going... You know? Yeah, I've seen it. Fuck, Anna knows. today. Anna knows. So impressive. Well, bollocks. We are bollocks. If Anna knows, everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. I Because Anna only knows us like 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Anna knows nice everyone. I shout out today, everyone. Mm. <laughs> Before... <laughs> I'm fucking shit. Here. So. Um, no, congrats. It's great. Yo, thank you. You've right. already done it once, so you shouldn't be a grand, right? Why are we beating around the bush? Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're playing our next live show, June 19th, Sunday night, Vicar Street. Tickets Woo! on sale this week. Pre-sale tickets this week. Pre-sale tickets, tickets will already... on sale. Pre-sale tickets would have already been on sale, because this will be Thursday. Yeah. When did we go on sale? <laughs> General sale, I don't know. Pre-sale I Wednesday. Think Wednesday yeah. I think <laughs> Pre-sale tickets would have, would have been Wednesday. So yesterday the tickets would have went on sale if you listen to this now. Yeah. So hopefully there's still tickets there. Right. But at yeah. But this is the thing. So we're going on as if this isn't happening because the last time I was very nerve wracking. Like yeah. you played gigs. What do you think about Rob? Yeah, so nervous, isn't it? Yeah, but what do you think when you're like if you had a show booked in like now? Yeah. This is confirmed. Yeah. How, what's your process? Just be shitting myself, yeah. yeah. Just, well, I'm like, trying not to think about it, but I mean, that's what we're trying now. Then you do a bit of prep, and yeah, you're sort of well able. Like you kind of have to. Are like the more I do them, I'm like you literally have to try and forget about it because you just drive yourself crazy and you don't want to leave your house. You don't want to talk mm. to people. Honestly, <laughs> though, I'm not joking. Yeah. I swear to God, like that last live show, that I say all the time, that was the worst day in my life by yeah. far, but yeah. the best night in my life. Oh yeah, that's mm. why you do it. Get sucks you in. It's oh. the best high, natural high you're ever gonna get. Yeah, and you just want to do it again. And the day of my show, my mom's like, "Why do you do?" this i'm a nervous wreck i'm like i can't eat like and then yeah afterwards you're like woo, where yeah, are you going yeah. again yeah yeah but this so, is like remember that you know what i mean i know i know but see um, like, this is the thing i tried to play a kill and all because yeah i planned out i was like this is who we're gonna have on this is gonna be the order the time is gonna be down to this and that's how it's gonna go and the lads were like we need you there all day did it, on that day because I was like going to go to work and all, remember? And you were going to show up at like six o'clock to one stage at seven. Yeah. And I'm like, that's what we'll do. And the lads were like, yeah. no, we need you there from fucking like 12 o'clock that day. And we're like, fuck's sake. So we went down and I was like, we can rehearse and we'll practice and it'll be grand. We literally went down, checked that the mics were working, checked that the speakers were working and then left. And then we had good right. intentions. Yeah. But, but then, it's not the bright, like, we can't focus for too long. Mm. Yeah. Get, yeah. Like, we were on the stage, we were like, oh, hello, Biffy, blah, blah, blah. And then we were like, fuck this. When we go around to Mass. Yeah, and then yeah, we went you to Mass. You get a feel of it, and then you're good to. Yeah, yeah, but like, in theory, that's like good for the nerves to calm you down. Mm. But then at five to eight, when we're standing in the wings, waiting to go on stage, I was like, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are we going to talk about? <laughs> yeah. We have a podcast to do. What are we going to do? <laughs> and I don't know how we did it, but we pulled it out of the bag and. Yeah, so that's what always yeah. happens. Though you think your mind is gonna go blank and fail you, and it doesn't. You're more skilled than you think. Do you think that la less preparation is the best preparation, though? I don't know. Like I don't. I've never done a live podcast. It's kind of yeah, probably in that sense because you do just naturally. You're good talkers. You know what you're doing. Mm. 
Like, mm. I mean, if it's a f- full show, but I like think about that. And acting, like, you do have to prep a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I think about life. Like, someone will say to me, What are you doing next Thursday at nine o'clock? Do you want to go about dinner? And I'm like, oh, I can't think that far ahead. <laughs> that's way too much notice. Oh my God, I love a plan. Oh, no. I I'm, need to know. I mm. have everything in the diary. But, like, yeah, it's like if someone asks me last minute, and I'm like, No, we never booked that in with me three yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, like, last minute. I'm not saying a quarter to eight, do you want to go for dinner at eight? But I'm saying, like, what day is today? Monday. Yeah, Do you want to go for Sunday on Wednesday? But like, yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah next yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Forget yeah. about it. Yeah, ask yeah. me next Book week. That's too much preparation. So you think you should have booked it for next week? That's probably a good show. <laughs> Wouldn't have been good yeah. for ticket sales, but you never know. You never know. Well, I mean, yeah. you guys are selling out anyway. Mm, well, um, we'll see. Don't be fucking touch wood. Yes, sir. We will. Ah, we well, will. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just about how quick we sell out. And yeah. so you did Liberty Hall the last time. Yeah. Yeah. And you sold out really fast, didn't you? Like, 20 minutes or something yeah 15 20 minutes but that, it was only 400 and something seats I think yeah. but, uh, this is two and, and a half times more you'll be grand I don't know will we yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Definitely. we will be what time what? this comes out yeah you'll probably for most of yeah. like the worst thing that can happen is what I was saying because the lads always say no one's gonna do yeah that's what they and base like, it on stupid <laughs> thing to say <laughs> how successful is something if no one does no. it was a success I was no. like what <laughs> the fuck that's not how it works I was saying like, if you fall off the stage You're that's like, like a death if someone yeah. dies that's good like you get good publicity you know that's what I said <laughs> that's, that's exactly what, exactly what I said if someone like, dropped dead that, you'd be like yeah. oh my god what made them drop dead I'm going to the next one yeah <laughs> yeah I think that's good publicity. Come see why this fella died last time. Boom, there you go. Oh, now I get it. But look, like, what he said was right. If he fell off the stage, I'd understand if I had to do the whole rest of the show on my own. Yeah, you like, oh, like, fuck, he can't come back. You yeah. can't come back. He can't come back. Like, I can't come back the following week and be like episode seventy four. <laughs> fell off the stage. You could never come back after falling off stage. Yeah, yeah. you've done oh, it you, you, you may as well fall well. off into a bottomless pit. Like, what yeah. if you like a mosh pit? That's a stage. That's different. Tent that you might be Oh, no one caught. Yeah, you still supposed to catch me. Grab me. Uh, do you know what I mean? So there's, there's little things that you can't recover from. Look, yeah. there's, on my man's loop, I wouldn't get back on the stage if I fell off it. I would. <laughs> you sit on chairs anyway. It'd be really, really... Yeah, but you walk crazy. out, though. You have to <laughs> walk out and introduce and yourself. And wires and all. And everything. Yeah. Why can't Very you easy. wire and fall there? Very easy to That's fall. That's the end. And with the lights and all. Because in rehearsals, you haven't got the lights on like that. You can't see a fucking yeah. thing. What story yeah, with the lights? You're walking out like blading squint and Tarantino. You like that? All right, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming. The fuck is going on? Would you rather see everyone? Two thousand people looking back. At no, only, only for a minute. Yeah. Like give us a minute. Let me focus. Bring and then them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the last little show we did now, like, everyone in the first like four hours that you could see, we knew everybody. Yeah, that's what made me feel. Like. I felt like I was that, in a gap party. Could, yeah. Yeah. Get me? Yeah. Well, I kind of rather know nobody because I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna tell a story now, and this fella in the front's involved in yeah. the bollocks. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. That is what happened when you got nicked. All right. Yeah. Cut that. But can anyway. <laughs> um, right. Suggestions. Yeah, actually, I have them on my phone. So we do suggestions every week, Anna, right? Yeah. And every couple of weeks, people will start thinking that we're an agony aunt. Yeah. Because, like, I thought it would be topical. Like, sometimes it's like, oh, talk about this, what's going on in the news, and then we give our opinion on it. But every now and again, people do be asking for a relationship advice, and okay. I'd be like, all right, sound. Yeah. Well, podcasts. not that type of podcast, but we'll, we'll <laughs> give it. Right? So we have one here. How do you know a relationship is over if you should just end it, not just, wait, What? How do you know a relationship <laughs> is over if you should end it? Not just Mrs. French, Mrs. The Friendship, so or How do you know if it's over? Should you just end it? Huh? Huh? Should you just end it? So like how? How do you know a relationship is over if you should just end it? Not just a Mrs. Friendship, Stella. Oh yeah. So how do you know if a relationship is over? Not just in a relationship, but with friends. How do you know if you're done with your friends? Uh, oh. How do you know if yeah. you're done with your missus in any? Thanks, uh, man. Uh, I'll clarify that. Don't worry. I don't mean even to. So yeah. kind of yeah. Um, any kind I didn't. of relationship, maybe. Yeah. yeah so. In work and I don't know. friends, stuff that ends that you feel like is probably. Uh, yeah, just dragging ended, it out. Yeah. I, th- I think I think most of the times you drag things out in terms of friendships or relationships, like is. Uh, Oh, I don't know. Like, if, if like, it, do you ever get when you think about good times with someone, but mm-hmm. then it's not like that yeah. anymore, and then you're holding on to that? Yeah. You get me? It's like friends that you grew up with and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, I but they're not that person anymore. Yeah. Like, and, and you're not them people anymore. You've grown, they've grown into someone that you're not really into anymore. You don't have to force that to be yeah. friends. You can just be like, you can distance yourself. You don't have to be like, we're no longer friends. Let's yeah. have a coffee. We're not friends. <laughs> you can be like, yeah, the friendship breakup. Yeah. yeah, you can just distance yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Just but if you're in a relationship, you can't just. Versus, how do you know it's over? Not how do you end it? Oh, well, fuck. I think when he's, I think by sending that, you know, you know, I yeah. think if you're saying anything for too long, 
you know? Because you, like, mm. you never leave something when you're meant to, do you? You know, a job or a friendship or a relationship. So when you're thinking that already, you're probably far into when you should have left. Yeah, true. Probably, yeah. I think when it becomes a chore. Yeah. If you know, like, I don't want to do this, but I feel like I have to do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you know, especially with something like that. We walk, yeah, sound. You don't, like, no one wants to walk, but yeah. you, you have to do it. Yeah, sound. Yeah, but some jobs are like, shy. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no one got a job. But you, you still have to do it. Yeah, you can never want to another yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I think if it, in terms of a relationship, even if it is with a partner or a friendship, if it's a choice, like, I don't want to yeah. bleed and do this, or I don't want to go there with no. them, I don't want to yeah. be yeah. entertaining this. Knock her on the head. Yeah, that's when you know. Easy, I said the number. And like with a no, friendship, you can just kind of, yeah, like you said, just distance. But if you're right, that's you how you know. Let, no. Yeah, after, <laughs> she's going to come in at six o'clock yeah, after work so and start making the dinner. Like. <laughs> so you need to let her know, like, this is yeah. for me, though, love. Yeah. Let's see on the yeah. flip side. Yeah, this chicken's wop up, but hey, I listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bags are packed in the hall. Yeah. Hurry up. Uh, and another one. Should you stay friends with your ex? Yeah, I'm friends with exes. I think that's a hard one, but yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, I think I, it's possible. I think when something comes, when you're like immediately end, I think you need to give each other time. Yeah, I'd you know agree, I mean? yeah. Um, um, I don't, I think should you stay is yeah. the wrong way of asking it. There's no should. Can should you stay? Way doing it. Can you stay? Yeah, of course, you can. I'm friends with exes, yeah? Yeah. Mm. And good friends, look. Like, talk yeah. frequently enough and there's no harm in that. Look, like, if you can, I know there's some relationships that end volatile. Like, yeah. yeah. Where you're like, Jesus. But, if you can. No, it does depend on circumstances. It doesn't all have to be toxic. It doesn't all have to be Some people have that chaos. mindset. Yeah, that, it's an exit. And, chaotic. And that's another thing. Like, even in relationships, the only way the relationship can end in their mind is if something toxic happens because they find it too hard to just separate on a mutual consent. Like, it has yeah. to be like, something bad has to happen for it to end. Yeah. Or else they're yeah. never going to leave each other. Yeah. So then they end up going up and doing something stupid and that's how it ends up ending. That's how they can't be friends. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, of course you can be friends with exes. Yeah, uh, ex- exactly. And as I you think said. If, if, if you can, you should. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. If I had good memories with that person, obviously you, know you wouldn't be in a relationship. Yeah, you wouldn't be in a relationship if you, uh, if things weren't going on yeah. harmoniously. Mm. No, but why not stay friends with them? To think that, wouldn't it? But, well, yeah, but as I said, it's, it, it yeah. depends on circumstances and, and it's like as long as yeah. both people feel that's a friendship because you yeah. know some, someone's like still trying to be like, yeah, yeah let's be friends. Yeah, and the thing is, like, it's nah. not just the two of yous. Like, like they meet your family and you yeah. meet their family, yeah. and like it's no longer just about what yous two. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. If you can, you should. Yeah, I think so. Nice right, so be. there we are. The suggestions boxed off. Yeah, well, look, that, that was the most. Yeah, that was the most. Like, I think that we'd be able to escalate on. You know what I mean? Other ones, they weren't really. Door boxes, like I don't want to say door boxes. There's, there wasn't many other ones. <laughs> a couple of singers in there that will hold as well. Because uh, the thing with the singers is we forgot. So we were doing them for so long, and then uh, we're like, Jesus, we're the bottom of the barrel here. Then we forgot to do them for a couple yeah. of weeks. So now we have a backlog. So I think we have a few now. To oh, put we actually thought we were at the end with singers, and now like the last couple of weeks, people are banging out lethal. Yeah, yeah, good ones. Keep like that yoke that really asked today was lethal. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. my head was yeah. wrecked for at least forty-five minutes today. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> like it was a good, good topic of conversation. Yeah, I, I like them ones where you had to think about a situation, not like, and then the other ones are all right as well. Like, what do you call this? Because that's oh, part yeah, of conversation as well. Oh yeah, that's some of them are just like, oh. I have a good one for you here, Anna. Actually, and yeah, I don't really like asking it yet, but people go mad when we don't. Of course, you like asking it. Don't be giving Why, all that. It? It's sometimes, yeah. Do you piss in the shower? I have done. I don't do uh, it frequently. Most people say I have done. Yeah, trying to cover their own back. Just say yeah. I mean, yeah, I would if if I needed to go, I guess. Yeah, well then, you know, so you're pissing the show. Yeah, you said something before, actually, and that's yeah. what happens to me, yeah? You were saying there's no actual, like, environmental problem with it. It's just that when you touch the water, now your body's going to do that. That happens to me every time. That's why a doctor said you shouldn't piss in the shower because every time you you touch water, then your body associates that with pissing. And that's what's at the happen. Oh, right. Some that doctor come sense. out and said that. But. I mean, does it? When people, because some, some people need... To listen to like flow and water kind of thing, yeah. Pee. I don't I think you have a problem there. You want to get your prostate checked, yeah. That's, what, that's <laughs> what's going on. Remember, Marty Guilford said he puts his mate's hands in the bleeding in the, the water, water, yeah. Window, yeah. Like, yeah. Marty, how old are you? Yeah, you're 38, like shave his eyebrow off. Yeah. Why are you putting his hand in water for? Yeah. You're pissing him or something. I, I don't didn't think, I don't even think that works. That's surely that's a myth. Oh, yeah, I don't. If I went to see me mate's cap years ago and woke up my hand in some water, I'd be blessing myself. But Jesus, thank God that's all they've done to me. That'd be like a holy water. Like walking into church, like, like, you know, when you have a cold pillow, you just <laughs> yeah, yeah. You used to go sleep with the boys' cap years ago and wake up. The first thing you used to do was that. Take yeah. Your face, make sure your eyebrows are still there. Yeah. yeah. Deadly. So, 
That's his English and all boxed off. <laughs> <laughs> We've dragged the arse out of this. Ah, oh, dragged the back box out of it. Anna, what we do with every guest is bring her right back to the start. What's your name? Where'd you come from? And what was life like growing up? Um, my name is Anna Clifford. I'm from Hoth and Sorry to hear. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. awful place, isn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> awful living in that shit yeah. living yeah. gaff yeah. on the prayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty tough upbringing, though. Yeah. Um, and yeah, life was interesting, I guess, growing up and uh, yeah, fairly good actually. When you think back at look back at it. How did you get into comedy? I got into comedy um, when I moved to Vancouver. And I did a comedy course. So I actually went to the Gaiety School of Acting here when I finished school. So I've always loved performing. Mm. Um, and then I moved to Canada when I was like 24. And I was looking for something to do. I was kind of writing plays and you know, I always thought it was a bit gas. And then I seen a comedy course and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do that. Like I'd love to learn how to craft jokes. And then you do a showcase. And I was like, maybe it'll happen, help me write scripts and stuff. Um, and I've always loved stand up, but I thought it was like terrifying because it is fucking it's terrifying. Yeah. The scariest thing in the world. Though. And I would, and then I just did it, and I would never have started comedy in Dublin. Never. Do you know what I mean? Why not? Because I was just like, everyone's like, too who close do you to think home? you are? Yeah. Get back in your box. Yeah. Yeah. I'm funnier than you. Yeah. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> I just would never have started here. It would be too, like, too scarlet. Like, yeah. You know? it's too close to home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. So. Can- yeah, Vancouver, Canada was a really good place to start because you had an accent. They're like, oh my God, yeah. you know? Just delivery was always yeah. going to be like, funny. Oh my God, Irish hilarious. And then I was like, oh, I'll go back to Dublin and be like, you're from Hoth, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have an accent, get away. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, started there. It was great. How do you learn, what, seeing these comedy courses, how did you learn you to crack a joke? They kind of show you the skill, like I, that's what I, I loved about it as well, because like I hated school and learning stuff, and that's why I love performing. Because I was like, at least you just get to like rip the piss, you know what I mean? Did you do well in school? No, like not no. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the fruit in your eyes. Yeah, when yeah you're like, don't talk about that. You have your res- leave your results right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks. Yeah, no. So then, like, so uh, this is something. Then in this course, I was like, oh, I f- like feel like I understand it. It's almost like. It's almost like a science, like there's a science to like the setup punch, you know, like the rule of three gags, you know, like different kind of gags. And I was just like enjoying crafting that mm. um, when you look into it and then you go and watch and you're like, oh, I can see what you did there and how you brought us like brought us one way and then did a reveal, you know what I mean? Or a callback. You did a callback earlier before. I know. And I went over yeah. everybody's head. Terrence but got I it, wasn't here last well, week, so I didn't get when the When I made the call, remember I made the joke and I was like, that's not funny. Don't joke about that. I was like, no, it's funny because we talked about it last week and then went three Ah, weeks. yeah. You got it. Owen didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It must be a host thing. But yeah. anyways. <laughs> 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 I would have got if I knew yeah, if you the, knew, yeah. The setup last week, um, yeah. So it is really like that's like the first thing I was like, oh fuck, I get this. Like I like, yeah. didn't get anything in like the, like all this shit they were trying to teach you in school, you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you think you can teach someone to be funny, or they have to have it? I think it's you've definitely been taught. Yeah, I think everyone. I can. I think everyone can be taught most things. You know what I mean? Like obviously we have natural skills and natural kind of vibes and like. I mean, we yeah, we all know like one really kind of dry, boring <laughs> person. You think no, they could never. But there is yeah, there's you could definitely learn to like do a five minute set for sure. But I, th- I don't know. Like I think not naturally. You might be like, oh, ha, I see. Yeah, ha, ha, you know, ha. they wouldn't be like keep going or anything. But yeah. yeah, I think you can definitely teach someone to be funny. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Could you? Yeah, I th- I think that's baffling to me. Mm. I don't. I don't think so. That you could teach someone to be funny. Yeah, I yeah. Don't. I don't think you can either. You think you just have it, or you don't? Yeah, yeah. No, you have to have a bit of wit about you and a bit of charisma. Yeah, bit no, definitely. But I think th- just for even a minute, you definitely could teach that. Oh, you yeah. Can, yeah, you can give someone sixty yeah. seconds of yeah, yeah, jokes but and not go, to keep say them they're gonna yeah. get a giggle. Knock, knock. Like, go on yeah. now, you're set for life. You're gonna be absolutely gone. <laughs> 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 because then there'd be just classes for that every week, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, no, because remember we heard this before, times that someone done a course and was like, "There's no way you're funny." <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? People There's do no those way. courses even for just public speaking or for, you know, their their office jobs. Which makes a lot of sense. More, yeah, to have more charisma and charm and, like, all that. But I don't know. It's like it's like singing, isn't it? Like, you go sing lessons. Like, everyone can learn how to hold a note. But we're and not going to have amazing voices. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like that, I think. I don't know. See, the way you were saying, you were saying <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> Should we do one of, let, Let's do one of those <laughs> courses and see what happens, yeah. We, yeah. You guys have 
Does he have it naturally, you know? Yeah, but like, I like, think you, you just... don't need to do, do a you course. You just talk. Some comics are like, oh, you did a course, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah I've never done one of those. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's no. why I think it's mad. That it was funny beforehand. As that there's a, like, <laughs> there's a gap in life and there's professions out there that if, if you can talk, you'll go, you'll do well. Like, you have no other skills, you don't know yeah. anything, no qualifications, but if you can talk, you'll do well in this kind of career. And you're like, that to me baffles me. Yeah. I mean, that's a chance at it. I'm fair play to them. That's all it is, isn't it? Someone who can bullshit. Basically, yeah. Why skill. not? If they could teach that. Yeah. Oh, I'd go do that course. Yeah. But like, I think some people <laughs> just haven't, you know, like, oh, I don't know, it's mad. When did the first thought of comedy come into your head? Were you like in your teen years? Like? Yeah, I think like I watched stand up growing up and I loved watching like the Harry Enfield show and like. What a show, by the way. Yeah. Isn't I think it so, a lot more people need so, to go back and watch it. Isn't that just like the best like yeah. sketch show ever? Ever, yeah, easily. Like, the fast show and uh, like. The, yeah. Um, I've never seen this. Oh, it's so good. Like, it's I so made good. one of them jokes the other day and uh, I think, are you on the phone? Who does? Fuck, I can't remember who I said it to. And everyone laughed, but I was like, oh, it's from the Hardy Enfield. Yeah. Do you know, do you remember he was interviewing a footballer at the end of a match and he's like Spanish? Oh, and he asks yeah, him yeah, a question, yeah. he has an interpreter with him. Yeah. But I didn't remember we were watching the, the fights and he's like, uh, he has an interpreter with him and we were saying, all of them should have to speak English if you're at that level. Do you remember? Mm. And I go, so you have an interpreter with him and he goes, and your man just goes, yes. But that that comes from Hardy Enfield. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you have your man and he's giving him an interview. He asks the question and he gives the answer. And your man gives the answer then in English. Yeah, and he gives this big long-winded answer in Spanish. And your man just goes yes <laughs> and moves on to the next question. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, that that comes so from Harry Enfield. Harry Enfield is a uh, John Kevin and Party. Yeah, that's Harry Enfield. Mm. But anyways, yeah, and stuff like that. Like the Unbelievables in Ireland was great, and like even like the panel. Like that was such a good Irish TV show. Growing up, and I was just yeah, just loved it. And like I said, loved performing, loved making people laugh. Like, and again, wasn't great in school, so all the like, class clown of school off would make be humour. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you are. Like it was either asleep or is yeah trying to make people laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it was either or. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sorry, you said what did you did you say something there? You was no, what? yeah. How did you get into comedy? So like, where do you go from there? You were like, do you know what? I'm onto something here. Yeah. You did a course in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So where'd you yeah, go from there? I just we did you did a showcase at the end of it, uh, and you invite friends and family. So that was like a nice safe. And I was absolutely shitting myself. Like that was like probably like you, how you guys felt for your live one because I was like, and I'd done acting before, and I was like, and people were like you've done loads of stage before, and I was like, this is nothing like acting because I'm being myself, mm, yeah. <laughs> and I ha- and I've written this myself, and I have to make people laugh with it. Like yeah. that is just completely different to acting. Yeah, it's actually, a lot you of get pressure. A different character. Yeah. And someone else mm. wrote the words and all, and I was just like. <laughs> Like, yeah, I've never felt nervous like that one. And then went out and it just went so well. And like that, like you said, I was like, I am fucking hooked and yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then someone invited me to do a show again. They were like, you were great, come do a show. And that's how it kind of went. People were like, oh, hey, I have five minutes for you here. And I just found like from pursuing acting, it was like you're wait- for acting, you're waiting around for someone else to cast you and give you the job or you write play and you have to get loads of characters. And I was like, I can go do five minutes every single night of the week if I want. I am in control of this career. It feels great. Um, and I just kept going. But I think it's the hardest job in the world, what you have. I, think I really so. believe that. I think so, yeah. Mm. That no, <laughs> nobody can tell me <laughs> any no, difference. Tough, it is yeah. the hardest job in the world. Yeah. If yeah. You, cause like I was saying earlier on, I think with comedians, you have to go on stage, you see so many people who just sit back and go, I'm, I'm going to try so hard not to laugh. And you have yeah. to make them so laugh. You are yeah. going, so it's like they go in intentionally like, make me laugh. You see those people, they have their arms you know? folded and they're like, yeah. Go on, yeah. I'll see what doing. They just they know they think they're funnier than you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get, but like it's not. That's I. I thought that was going to be the case like all the time. And like I thought it was going to be kind of like that in Ireland for some reason. Because I thought everyone I was coming home, I was like, everyone in Ireland is fucking gas. Like they're all comedians themselves. And again, they're gonna be like, who do you think yeah, you're from home? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, and actually, Irish people are so like Irish crowds are actually great. Like you get a f- couple of those people, but most people like do like they paid. Why would you you paid money to come see a show? You laugh. But I think like, that's yeah. enjoy yourself. Laugh. I think that's the only job in the um, world where you go and get people like that. Yeah, yeah. Where else yeah. would you go find people going and going impress me? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like There's no other job in the world. Like, yeah, paid 150 for this ticket. Yeah. yeah. But Do you I'm know not going to enjoy myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Not singing along. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to heckle you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, what, have, sorry, Terrence, have you ever had any hecklers? I've never had a really bad heckler. T- thank God. Where's the word again? Go to Like, yeah. Any, but any form of 
uh, interruption or shouting out loud is a heckle. It's yeah. Even a heckle. You kind of interrupt. Ah, well, the then we were fucked at our little shop. Yeah. Oh, we were bad. just like, I'd oh, say you were yeah, they were just kind of kill at the start. At this, like, it's, sometimes it's a bit nice. So, like, if I put a question out, I do like ha- having being in control, having a talk, you know? Mm. You need to be in control. So, I've only had heckles where people think they're kind of p- a part of it and they shout out and they might say something stupid or, you know, and it's kind. It's not bad. It's just kind of like, oh, what the fuck? You just kind of interrupted me there, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Touch wood, nothing. Kind of happened, doesn't like, well. <laughs> had absolute silence, and I wish someone was just screaming at me instead. To be yeah, honest. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what was going to be my next question. Have you ever absolutely fell flat on your face, like? Yeah. yeah. Not literally off the stage, like Terence was talking about, but I mean, like, have you ever said... Like that, I would have rather just fallen. I sh- maybe I'll do that the next time if it's just complete silence. Just really? Trip was it myself that up and fall yeah. off the stage. <laughs> well, can you imagine that, though? Imagine you went down and you're like, you know what, this is me opening line. I'm going to say that. Get a good feel of the crowd. You yeah. go out and you open, knock, knock. No one says yeah. who's there and you like sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you go, okay, they didn't they didn't like that one, but I'll, here's a banker. Here's an absolute, everyone loves this one, and then nothing. Mm. <laughs> What do you oh, do? Oh, voila. <laughs> like, that makes me if you've sick. Been, if you're paid, you just try and keep going. Oh, my God, it's awful. <laughs> I couldn't that actually is, think about it. That has to be the makes, worst. I don't know if it does, but it was, yeah. Just surely it gives you thicker skin, skin, Anna, no? Surely, like, what? surely, I, like, it can't go any worse than that. So everything well, from here thing, is yeah, forward. I'm like, oh, okay, I've survived that 20 mi- minutes of silence. I can probably survive anything now, yeah. That's why I think, see, the Lloyd podcast, that's why, like, now that I did one, I'm like... I'm still nervous, don't get me wrong, I'm still rattling. But I'm like, mm. our job, we're not comedians. Yeah. So we don't actually have to make you laugh, we just have to talk. Yeah. You know what you're paying for, it's a podcast. That's why I think pe- some people do say to us, like, you should do like a, st- a stand-up thing and all. We're like, we're not comedians. Yeah. I think that's why people actually find us funny, because we're not supposed to be funny. Yeah, exactly, mm. that's you get me? easier. Like, because then it's the pressure's off, but then you oh. make them laugh. They're like, oh, these guys should be comedians. Yeah, <laughs> do you get me? And I'd rather that yeah. than try and be a comedian and go out and yeah. fall flat on my face like that. <laughs> Do you get me? Yeah. What's the worst experience yeah, you've had? Start a podcast first of all. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> um, the worst <laughs> experience. Oh, the worst experience I've ever had. Um, I. Uh, oh yeah, I just talked about this before, but um, it was um in a festival in Galway, and I got asked last minute, and I was only going about two years or something. So that's really like yeah, it's a new new and I but I had done the Edinburgh Fringe I'd done a half an hour of my own material and I was doing and someone asked me last minute to hop on a Father Ted show right so it was all the lads who these comics in Ireland just constantly tour Ireland doing Father, Father Ted, Ted and yeah. people love it obviously like it's such a um, great show and to ride off the back of that and I was like oh great yeah cool and they're like and it's paid 20 minutes I was like 20 minutes that's a lot of time for two years in you usually do 10, 15 right and then I was like, surely, like, who's on? They'll probably put me in. I'm the only girl. They'll put me in the middle. Surely. I arrive. They're like, you're opening at a Father's Head show in Galway. Yeah. And Joe Rooney was host and MC, and he goes up, and they're all like, woo. And then they're like, and now first, Anna Cliff, and they're like, Ew. And they're like, Mrs. Doyle looks different. She's <laughs> had a lot of work done, doesn't she? <laughs> and then it was like, I've never felt hostility like it in my life. I've never felt absolute hatred from the second I walked on stage said hello I don't know what it was like it was I had a Dublin accent you know you just don't know like obviously it just wasn't what they were expecting they obviously paid money yeah and then it was just pure silence the whole time and I was like I would rather people be yelling at me at the stage you obviously fucking hate me but I was like I've been paid to do 20 minutes and I was looking at my watch and I was like I'm doing 20 minutes so then I kind of got it I started enjoying it almost because I was like more, more bad than you. Like I'm yeah. up here and yours are miserable. And it was kind of, it was hilarious. Well, it wasn't hilarious at the time, but it kind of came off, and I was just in shock. I was like, that was so bad. And some of my friends had kind of c- c- come in the, at the back, and they were at a show earlier that like went well. And they were like, what the fuck? And uh, I went upstairs, and the the father Ted lots were like, Jesus, yeah, yeah, tough crowd. I was like, tough crowd. Yeah, you were winding <laughs> like, me up. Like. Yeah, I was like, no. And then it was like, it was almost, it was so comical because I can't. Who was it? I think it was. Pat McDonald got McDonald got up after me or Colin McDonald, one of them, and literally just said, How he is and he's on Father Ted and they were like, Yeah. So I was like, (laughs) Okay. Does that ever make you rethink what you know? Oh yeah, obviously. I rethink every single second of the day what I'm doing. What the Um, fuck? Like just I lived in London for years gigging as well, and I'd be travelling home on a north one of the tubes like right across London after talking to five people in a pub and I'm just like what am I doing yeah but then you have those really good gigs and you're just back 
Because you can't kind of the, get that natural high. It's like, yeah, the, the best cake. performance, yeah. And you're just like, yeah, let's do it again. And then, you know, people message you and say they enjoyed it and all that kind of thing. And then you're like, all right, you know, I'm obviously onto something. Like, I feel like I'm doing something good Yeah. most of the time. Like, I like I would say, like, I don't feel like I have, you know, a massive thick skin or like people say you have to eat a lot of balls. But I'm like, I just think like, I kn- like I'm enjoying it and I know I'm doing something good. Do you know what I mean? But you because do. like if 90% of the time it went well and 10% it doesn't, like if it was more than that, I just wouldn't do it. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's not which I will do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah but like, ah, listen, more than ninety, I'd say. Yeah, you need big fucking balls. Yeah, of course, do. comedy. Yeah. Of course, you do. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I genuinely, if, if I said something in a room full of bleeding ten people and they didn't laugh, I wouldn't say anything. Again. Yeah. Oh, and I'm not even funny. trying to be funny. Like I just say something like, "Oh, that didn't go down well." Just don't, don't come out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just take away. Yeah, fuck that. You were saying, did you say you lived in Vancouver and then you seen the comedy out and you were looking out to do that? Yeah. How come you were living in Vancouver? Because I just wanted to run away. No, valid point, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, was like, I need to get out here and I didn't want to move to London because I have family there. So I was like, that's too close. Like, I can easily get home. I was like, I need to not be able to get home for like 24 hours. <laughs> so did comedy make you come home? Um, no, just end of a visa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you want to be an illegal immigrant? Yeah, just got thrown yeah. out actually, yeah. I yeah. would have stayed. <laughs> and did you not say you lived in London as well? And then I moved to London. Yeah, I was home for like six months, and then I moved to London. Because I was like, London. "Oh my god, I don't want to be back." Yeah, I hated Dublin for a while. I did in my twenties. Why? I don't know. It was just like, hard, just hard, yeah, I just didn't enjoy growing up. But like, I just yeah, I was miserable and um, stuck and lost, and just felt like I needed change. Mm. Yeah, to be front, to be honest, you know. Yeah, do you not think all comedians kind of like that? They have that. There's something about them. Yeah, just, just miserable. A, like, literally, yeah. There, not, there has not to be. Why would own. we do that? Like, like literally said, it's like the hardest job in the world. I'm like, it's the only thing that makes me feel alive. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they are. Can't see the side. everything else. Yeah. 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 Well, have you got any, any uh, big gigs coming up? Um, I am doing the Edinburgh Fringe this year. So I'm bringing an hour, my debut stand-up hour to the Edinburgh Fringe for the whole month. Um, so that's a big deal. And then I'll be bre- premiering my sh- stand-up hour in Dublin in September. Whereabouts? So that's Are you allowed to say? I'm not allowed to say. Actually, not allowed. I'm not allowed to announce it yet. What's that? An NDA, Colin? Yeah. Yeah. But well done. Fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A full hour. It's my first ever hour, yeah. So I'm just trying to write that. I'm doing work in progresses because you have to test it Did out. you say you know a full I mean? hour? Yeah, full hour. On the stage? Yeah, just oh me. Oh, nerves. Mm. Yeah, best of luck yeah, with that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Keeps yeah. me slim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, no, I was gonna say it keeps yourself. you saying. I was gonna say it keeps you saying, <laughs> but it definitely doesn't. Like this is what keeps you insane. No, yeah, keeps yeah, you thinking yeah. over there. No, but and uh, I'm also bringing out podcasts with Go Loud as well. So that's what I was leading into. That's the two big things I'm kind of working on at the minute. I was going up to take the yeah. corner. I was going to swing her in. I was letting you going to knock her in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me get there for fuck's sake. So yeah. you're doing a podcast with Go Loud. Yeah. So fill us in there, come on. Big boots to follow, is not it? Like big shoes to follow, whatever yeah. that line is. Go and take that flip flop out of your mouth there. Yeah, yeah. After you guys, Vicar Street, I'm like, woo! Um, no, it's called Chancers, and it's with my friend and co-host Paddy Smith, and it'll be out on Friday. So when's this released? Thursday? Thursday, Thursday so yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, we'll tomorrow. It's going to be out on Friday 13th, yeah. Yeah. Is that lucky oh. or not? Yeah, oh, I'd say it is lucky. My birthday's the 13th, so... Is it? Yeah, well, not, not this 13th, uh, but like, okay, so it has been stuff. Friday the 13th before, and yeah. sure <laughs> look fine. All right, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sound. Come here, what's the podcast about? So it's uh, a podcast about people who are chancing their arms at life while others f- feel like they have it all figured out. So we basically pick We're a talk. We're all Yeah, it's like it. this, isn't it? Talking bollocks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's an all podcast, just yeah. talking yeah. bollocks. Einstein. <laughs> Einstein <laughs> was a chancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Einstein was a chancer. Stephen Hawkins was a chancer. I'm just putting that out Elon there. Elon Musk is a chancer. Elon Musk is not a chancer, bro. Elon Musk is doing all right. He's the smartest man in the world. He's the one who has it figured out. He yeah. knows what he's doing. He's the only man on earth that has life wrapped up. Yeah. Yeah. Wrapped up. Up. Yeah, Gerard PK is doing alright. With Shakira, oh, with Shik- yeah. he's won the World Cup. He's won everything at club level, everything at international level, and he's with Shakira. I yeah. think he's doing alright. Yeah, as well. yeah, but he doesn't have a wrapped up. Elon Musk made a car that can dance, <laughs> and he's doing a chip that can like. PK's run. board is Shakira. Elon Musk could take Shakira off PK. No, we money. couldn't. No, we could. Just give him five billion. Five billion. The fella has. Does there's a point in your life where money? Record deal. Would you go with Elon Musk for five billion? <laughs> what I what? Go with Elon Musk for five billion. What do you think, well, Elon Musk? Do you think he's good looking? Do you think he's good looking? Do you think he's good looking? Elon Musk, uh, he, has, he, has, he has a kind of like a Pete Davidson attractiveness about him. Do you know, like something weird, but you would. Would you, though? Yeah, I think I would, yeah. If you hang with the money. Like, not for five no, billion. Five billion. Oh. No, we're on about for free now. 
Have you seen him on a night out? Like, what's the story? Would you go to the mall drum? What? Would you go to the mall drum where I'm like? Yeah. Oh, oh. No, no, we're not. No money involved in this. No. This is just like. No, no, no. Oh, she's no legit. money, no. Right. Really? So then that's a no, no then. He has like too many kids. No, he doesn't. He only he has, has two. Of kids. He doesn't. He has a kid. Five. No, he has a kid with loads of letters in his name. Like oh. HTTPS okay, forward no, slash he only semicolon. Two, but you're one Grimes, and then he has other kids. Many. Yeah, I don't know loads. Does he? No, yeah. does Elon Musk? Yeah. The hip knocker. The hip knocker. Of course. The Musk fella. He's not which I one Grimes anymore. She was a strange cat as well, wouldn't yeah. she? But you have to. Do you ever see? Do you ever hear Elon Musk talk and he's like so robotic and all? Yeah, but they're all like that. It'd but he has to get him wrapped. What do you think of Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, Did you see he put up a selfie and every single person in it <laughs> looks like a robot? They look like they're all just like something, don't they? It's way. Oh man, yeah. it's very weird. What do you think of him? I seen a meme and it was like when when Let's you lift up a, when you lift up a rock and the ants are looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's very <really> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What were we talking about there before we were saying? Uh, my podcast. <laughs> oh, chances, whoa, yeah. Whoa, chances. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so chances. we pick a topic that we feel like we haven't like achieved yet in our thirties, like mortgages or weddings or fertility. Yeah, but you're only told you a wet day. I know, but you know you're looking at all your mates and you're thinking they've got like the, the ones that just did the steps, you know. Yeah. I don't plans my age you want. Yeah. Oh, good, you just have that as well, yeah. And then uh, we you just have that as well. You're about four days yeah. older than us, or something. five years or something, isn't it? If even, I'm no, four years older than Terence, only a nipple. Me and you were yeah. in school you got together. Your whole life ahead of you, lads. <laughs> and you're doing so well, Vicker Street already, like. And I'm tick, 28. Tick, tick. I'm nearly older than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm the mature one on this podcast. No, you definitely are. Um. We knew that from five minutes at the meeting. Like, <laughs> she was out there running the muck. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's good. And then at the we talk, talk shit like uh, like most pods. And then at the end, we have an expert on what we've talked about to give us some info. And that's kind of interesting. I was learn more than evidence school. You know, it's kind of scary. Like the mortgages one. I was like, right. So uh, hang on. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you? It's called chancers. But like, do you give an example of someone who was like a chancer when it comes to mortgages? And then you bring the actual expert in, or do you just like say this is mortgages? This is our take on it. Then you bring the expert. Yeah, we give some facts about like how's house prices in yeah. Ireland and what the chances you might yeah. what we thought we'd be where we'd be uh, like you know when you thought you'd be somewhere else right in li- life like when you're younger you're like yeah I'd have a gaff by then yeah yeah yeah, I'd yeah. Have a big ring on my finger yeah I'd have 10 kids you know yeah um, so we kind of think would you, th- would you be there or what do you want and then do you even want a gaff like where do you want a gaff in Dublin and the, city yeah. the country and then yeah get a mortgage person in being like this is the steps you need to take don't play the lotto every weekend on your f- and take out your <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your bank I'm like fuck <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought and all like, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to give an example of this person is a chance on this field. We do pick like, a oh. chancer of the week every week, but it's not necessarily Flash. in the topic. We just pick someone who's like up to something. It can be yeah. a good chancer. You know, there's a good chancer and then there's a bad chancer. So we're later. not a part of that. Oh no, yeah, we are good chancers. Because we are yeah. chancers. Yeah, yeah. He's our, he's like, our how, chancers. How are we selling those shows? And like, <laughs> we don't do it. That's it. That's a chancer. That's it. That's this is it. what we do. Like, yeah, I know. Talking. It's brilliant though. I I had a good analogy about it. Help me with it. Bottled water. Can you imagine being the fella who pitched bottled water? I'd be like, are you winding me up, mate? I'll turn on the tap and get it for free. 50. Absolute chance. Bottled it. water is a thing now. Talking bollocks, show me bleeding mad. Does that every day? Yeah, and yet you're still yeah. tuning in weekly. I know. Then no, still selling tickets to our podcast. Valid point. I'm not going to argue with you about it. There we go. I yeah. think it's it's how you market it, isn't it? So, so the first podcast, yo, Friday. Friday, yeah. No, we're doing a little box set, so you get four. What? Yeah. So if you listen, if you like it, you know. How many have you got parked off? Parked, yeah, I've got 10 in the... You know, a lot of people who do a podcast say that to us, and we're like, we literally made the decision on a Friday that we're going to do a podcast, and on the Monday, we fucked our mars out of the gaffs, got rid of all the kids, they all went on the skilled one. We put Calvin's phone on the table and said, what's story episode one? And I forgot how to talk for it, at least. Yeah. You want to say how funny that was? (laughs) Oh, it was fucking good. It is, you have to get into it, don't you? Like, I feel like we haven't put them out yet, and the first, I'm like, what did I say in the first ones? It was definitely a bit like, It's so hard to talk. So are you doing it in, like, seasons? Uh, no, we want to do it in season. It'll be rolling now, but it is nice to have a few in the bank because, you know, busy gals. Yeah. Yeah, and then especially, like, if something comes yeah. up. Yeah, like... if, like, you don't have a guest or something. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> grand sound, on it? I wasn't going to call you out, but, like, Anna's had to do it. Go on, you may as well tell the crowd what's yeah, at the happening there. to be here. Let's pretend that. <laughs> no, this is a good chance to move, you know. Yeah. Yeah, tell, tell everyone what's at the happening there. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> so, the boys put me in charge of... Uh, Booking a guest now, he is now I'm not the brightest cat. Um, so I agreed a date with a guest and forgot to give them a time and a place, and then texted him an hour before 
we were supposed to do the podcast and he said, well, they never gave me a time and a place, so good luck to you. <laughs> but the thing about it was, this was about three weeks ago that you booked it because what we tried to do was book guests like week in, weeks in advance so yeah. we know next week is this, the week after that and the week after that rather than saying like, Jesus lads, it's Monday quarter to five, who have you got on at half five? Yeah. <laughs> so we so, like to but, mitigate against that, Anna, so... When I went in, the message was there, but I never sent the message. Did we get that? So I just sent yeah, another message yeah. saying, it's halfway of Mark only house good for you. He was oh like, oh my God. Are you winding me up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Terence had one not, job. have nothing to do with your day, like. <laughs> and this fella is busy. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, he sounded good, and yeah, yes. sorry that I'm the replacement, but here we are. No, I'm actually, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very glad that we got you in, Anna. Save the day. Yeah. So, and I'm um, uh, delighted as well. It's thanks good. for coming in on short notice as well. Yeah, the one job, fella. So we won't leave it to Terence to. Uh, Oh, well, we will. You know, I'm know. actually all right. You need right a PA or something, don't you? I need an SNA. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I need. An SNA. And, I, and do you know what his excuse was? I never done the leaving cert. And I was like, I never done, I never done communications as like a, yeah. a, a subject in skills. What you do, honours level, bleeding communications. It's just an easy one to make the boys feel bad, but none of them felt bad. Foundation level was like text messages, then like higher level is emails. This is, we teach it, this is how it varies. Yeah. Do you want to, oh. When all the lads were roaring at me, they were like, how did you manage this? So I didn't know fucking leaving to it. Yeah. I think <laughs> you got washed, well, sorry. Like, Let's blame everything. the educational system in Ireland for Terence <laughs> not sending a text message. Yeah, so well, we fucked that. We fucked it. Look, these things happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I'm actually glad it's had to happen now because... We win or we learn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like this had to work out for us, I think. Yeah. These all sound. Yeah. You're one of the boys. Like. Yeah, no, you are cool. And uh, yeah, in fairness, we are very tense today. And now it's just all... It's all relaxed. Now, you put us on the back foot once or twice at the start. Yeah. <laughs> and rocked our whole world. Good sleeping. But I'm cool now. I'm cool. I'm fresh as a Yeah, pillow. we actually had a good chat about Hout to start her off because like, Hout is like and high look, up on the list of where you should go on a first day. It's a fucking great place for a first day. Yeah. I was saying earlier, what was I saying? Get an ice cream down the pier, walk back up, get a bag of chips, walk back down the pair. Would you get depend on, on the chips? You get an ice cream. See, it yeah. depends on how long you're going to be out there yeah. for. So you can get an ice cream, do the walk, yeah. come back around, chill out for a while, get a single, yeah. bring the board down to the pair, whisper sweet nothings in our ear, go to mm. Maldron, fifty. <laughs> Stunning. Great. You have to walk in the bleeding yeah. chips off you before you even eat yeah. them. You have to yeah. do two laps of the pair. Do you know what I mean? Serve them, yeah. So yeah. that sounds like a great day to me. So how is brilliant. I and then if you want to do a little snake one, be like, look, at you should go when it's dark because the seagulls will be out in the daytime. Oh, yeah, that's not that's smart. Do you know what I mean? That's a smart one, isn't it? sleep in the evening, you know? No, they're okay. not. They all just move into town in the evening. <laughs> yeah. Start yeah. mugging yeah. people. Yeah, and all, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. a wallet left. Where's that wallet seagull took around me? <laughs> Got mugged, but not a leave card left. <laughs> but that's one, that's one we need to address seagulls as well. Like, yeah. What's the story? Oh the size of them as well. Honestly. Oh, I can't bring my dog for a walk in case a seagull snatches him. That, they do. They're the fucking you my cat, my friend's cat. Yeah, they're fucking you They walk into my kitchen. I've seen them involved well, in the drug shield. Walk into, if you leave your kitchen door open, they just fucking... What's the story like? You don't even knock? In? No. <laughs> Looking for food. My, my friend's cat for eating the cat food out of the bowl in the kitchen. Like, I think, and they're like, the seagulls in Hoth, like, they, they're they like millennial seagulls because they don't know how to fish. Like, they don't go fishing for themselves anymore. The <laughs> millennial seagulls. They had it too good growing yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they like can't do it for seagulls. themselves anymore. Yeah. Like, go get a fish. <laughs> and they want bash offs and they want to and like, your sam yeah, your ice cream out of your mouth and, and like, yeah. if you're having a barbecue, right down, up and getting get Get a seagull expert on the chances. That's what you have to do now. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good yeah. show. Isn't have it? a seagull expert for like, Roddy Doyle. They're like, Roddy Doyle. Roddy Doyle's an expert in seagulls. Well, he is, Anna. Anna, I'm not messing. We had Roddy Doyle on this. Oh, did you? And we start slagging seagulls, fist pumping each other. Knuckle touching each other. See, that's a singer. Knuckle touching each other and the whole lot. Yeah, being like, yeah, "Yeah, fuck seagulls. And Roddy was like, I actually love seagulls. And we were like, sorry. No, they are kind of gas. Like, the ones that hang around are gas for kind of gas. But Roddy Doyle... You kind of get... Snapped. Yeah, and he reverted back to, if you don't like seagulls, you're a racist, wasn't (laughs) it? No, that's what he said. I I can't remember how he did it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, this I wasn't a joke. My, oh, sh- <laughs> 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 my dad does talk to the seagull every day. He's like, hey, yeah, like, and I'm like, stop eating them because you're not meant to. Like, yeah, because they come back. And my dad be like, he's like loving it. Oh, no, like, back. He's like, made best mates. I was like, they're going to make a documentary about you and that seagull dad. Like, Kez. Like, my, my seagull yeah. teacher, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, how did he do that, actually? He did, he did. He slapped on us. Yeah, but he did revert to back to being racist, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, like, that's kind of racist. I was like, no, I can't remember. He, he did, I don't know what he did, but he did say something like that, wasn't it? Oh, no, oh, no he was giving out, because uh, people are giving out, saying, oh, coming in hand, they're taking all the food and this like that. And then he said something like, people think they're a class. And it's like racism now. And I was like, all right, Roddy, that was a bit... <laughs> 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 but, I was saying, like, I'd, I'd, just, yeah. I'd like to eat a bag of chips without being hounded by a seagull. Like, it doesn't um, make me racist. Yeah. 
Ja. Now he's a sound bloke and all, but he's yeah. snapped on the yeah. job of sea. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually pull that clip and find out what the story is with that. Because mm, I'm nearly sure, I remember thinking to myself, if you don't like seagulls, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> that rocked our whole world it at the start, yeah. didn't it? I didn't even want to continue. Nearly it adopted was... a family of seagulls over the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. <laughs> but they're huge. Yeah. Seagulls are fucking they're gigantic. They're huge now. I went, where was I? I can't remember where it was. I think it was maybe in the UK somewhere. And I was like, Look, there was a seagull there. I was like, that's fucking tiny. Like, things like a pigeon, like. Yeah, yeah. look at tiny. Yeah. I was like, God, you want to see the size of our ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Roddy was saying. There's a field short. It's that's why they're so uh, aggro. And I was like, they're they're short. Fish. These things are unbelievable. <laughs> Creatine and all the size of them. I went down to fly fit the other day. I had to wait for one of them to grow off the pull-up machine. Did you see the video <laughs> one of your, the video of the one going into town. And the one trying to stop them and all. That's another. Fridge? Yeah, From that's shop? another thing. Oh, that poor fuck that. Not the not the seagull. That woman. <laughs> Fuck that woman as well. The thing takes a bag of crips off the shelf and walks out with your own choice to stop him. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Good Samaritan, good day done. You put a bleeding, smelly packet of crips that seagull had in its mouth back on the shelf. Yeah. Just let the bleeding seagull take them. But what was she going to do? She cut the seagull. Yeah, Put the crips like, back. Give us some, that's give us some... childish, that, isn't it? Like, yeah. honestly. Yeah. That's intelligence, though. Yeah, he's like, gas, come on. You got away with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. Yeah, he yeah, deserves yeah. it. You know what? Hunt go ahead there, yeah. <laughs> Anna. What's your favourite conspiracy theory? Conspiracy theory? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, boy, God, that was a bad one. Yeah, that was like me trying to say whatever you call Yeah, you're... <laughs> it's been ages. It's been ages. Yeah, and someone send us a set of jump blades in there <laughs> so I can give these two a jump start. Oh, Aaron's absolutely... Wait, after I got pink? <laughs> it's like trying to start the car and the engine is dead. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just glad you did it straight after. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Whew. Right. You know he's not just let's just take a deep breath. Can we cut that? No, we can't cut that. That's <laughs> been left in. That's been left in. You all right? Anna. <laughs> What's your favourite conspiracy theory, Anna? Conspiracy theory? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, You're not what? into them, no? No, I'm not oh, massively into them. We wrapped this up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's really... No, I used to have like an ex being like, fucking man, man. I'd be like, what? Um, so your ex was in... Yeah. Ooh, I won't go any further. What are the top ones again? We like the Bermuda Triangle and all. Oh, mm. right, yeah. No, I can't let myself think about all that, you know? Like, it's yeah. like the kind of question at the start. Like, if I can't let, allow myself to think about that... So oh, I'm, do you know what? I'm the same, gone. yeah. So he only got me on board the last few months. Yeah. And, but see, I, I'm not too bad at them. Where, like, as before, like... If I look into things too much, I swear to God, I won't leave the gap yeah. until Actually, I get to the bottom. Why would you? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's terrifying. Oh, all it's these the things scariest thing in the world. But the Bermuda Triangle is elite. That's, I actually that's, seen the out today, I forgot to read it because I fucked up and I had no time, we were trying to fucking sort everything out. I was about to be able to try it. So, some scientist fella said he figured it out. <laughs> no way. I didn't fucking click the link, I'll yeah. find it, I'll find it. But, uh, the pyramids and all. What's the one about the pyramids? Who put them there? Who built them? Oh, I think they were like on mushrooms or something. And they could... <laughs> <laughs> We have I a good story not... about them, but we, we'll about save it. Yeah. Um, Do you like doing them? Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love them. Um, well, I've done them a few times. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had some great experience. Yeah. I've yeah. had a really bad one in oh, my have life. Have you? Oh, my God, no. Never I again. really are done. I'll ah, wrap shame. Really Maybe sorry. we'll talk about it at the live show. Yeah. It's a little incentive to sell tickets, that is. Yeah. Come to the live yeah. show. Yeah. Well, hear that story. A great story about mushrooms. Be at the live show. Do you know what? We actually have got a very good story. I might tell you after this. Oh, yeah. It's very good. No, very, very good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. That's a good Where were we going? You are at the game. Oh, I was thinking, rocked. like, all, oh. all the beautiful stuff that people built years ago, like, you know, I can't even remember any of the rest of them. <laughs> the ones in South America. What's the one in South America? The, <laughs> the Christ the Redeemer? The Aztec and stuff, anyway. That like, one? just stunning stuff. I was like, obviously, they were just finding mushrooms on the floor and being like, ooh, and then, like, Oh, I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think. Oh, he was oh, in Mexico. Maybe the strength, but yeah, the strength. See, that's it. My issue wasn't mm. who designed them. Oh, like this, yeah. It was, it's pretty. not like if you take mushrooms and go, I'm going to lift this 500 ton I don't know. Block. Some people, you know, I'm going to no, yeah, right. jump out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when they think it could be Remember when I was block. in Mexico that time? <laughs> the pyramid that we seen there, like it's built at a certain angle that like at this day of the year, the sun hits and this is the effect you're getting. And, like, oh, how did they do that? Bad as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, how did he own that, like, thousands of years ago? And they can't even fucking eight, build a children's eight. hospital at James's. I got ah. a fucking watch the out. They couldn't get into the bleeding doll. The print on the doll was too wide for the door. 
People are putting pyramids together a thousand years ago and these can't put a printer oh, into the yeah, door. that's ridiculous. Do you get me, Luke? Yeah. So maybe they should have took mushrooms. Well, this one, yeah, definitely. Michael Martin on the mushrooms. Get, <laughs> yeah, get the that the triple they in. Michael <laughs> Martin on the mushrooms. You find a way to get the printer in for sure. You'd yeah. Like, that's it. Um, I think we should do another episode. something like, something kind of, yeah, something that made them think more. I think we should do another episode on conspiracies. Like full. Yeah, because we kind of touched someone there a few weeks ago. You find ago. someone who's really into them, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, but this remind me again. <laughs> I like these ones, though, Anna. These what's ones. What's your top five? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like these are the harmless ones. Yeah. I don't like the ones that like, you're like, oh, look at this and look at that and oh, the vaccine oh, and like oh, the, the fake news. Like, and like, yeah, oh, it's like, this, oh my God, I'm sure there's like a bit of truth about how like stuff was done wrong or they're using us or something, but like, I can't go there. Not everything. I need to just be able to leave the house. Yeah, like that. Get on with stuff. So they're the ones that are draining. Mm. Yeah. Draining. It's like, oh, like, just I don't want to hear mental. that. Oh, her just trying to have spicy sex. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a bit of oh. flavour. Mm. Yeah. For the fizzy <laughs> sex, like. No, yeah, have right. Right, we wrap this up. Anna has to go. Anna's in a rush. We're like, we had to drag her in by the head. <laughs> and listen, any chance. Thanks very much oh, for that. From the get go, we let you five minutes in. She was tying her laces to run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. I was like, right. I actually meant to say to you about your tattoo. See the harp? I seen this the other day and I was like, that's mad. So, you know, Guinness was yeah. founded in 1759. Yeah. I remember that from Arthur's Day. Remember? Yeah. That was a great day, wasn't it? So, <laughs> set the, the harp and Guinness faces one way, but it's a copyrighted logo. So when the Irish state was found in like 1922 and they used the harp, it has to face the other way. Oh, interesting. Because it's copyright infringement. No, oh, that makes sense. So on our passports, it's gone this way. And on and our on points, the, it's gone this way. The other way, yeah. Woo! <laughs> now, so what way is it going on your ankle? Oh, which way is it going? Oh my God. Should have put a bit of tan on or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what way. Is, so, that, so that's going right, yeah. So that's going right. I think that's uh, not too sure. We'll have to look at the passports. But anyways, there's a little fact for you. The Ryanair one. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. Right. Cheaply. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you always take us out the way. Do I'm I take afraid us to the talk since I fucked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he haven't spoken since. I haven't given a word. He won't sleep now. <laughs> yeah. He won't sleep now. And I know he quite well. Again. It's like he yeah. fell off the stage. He's like, I can't come back. Yeah. I know quite well he's going to message Alan after this and be like, Alan, any chance we can cut the. No, no, I won't. I won't. They think that's funny, but I, I won't sleep tonight. Yeah, it's a heavy L. You have to just take your L's. Oh, it's a bad that's, that's the part of life. I think they're funny. I actually enjoy them when they're not me. Mm. But I like when it happened to Anna, she had a flip flop in her mouth. I did. I was like, yeah, try to say, yeah. It's try, embarrassing, uh, isn't it? Oh, it's a cunt. But that's anyway. the only word, man. The single next Tuesday cunt, yeah. word. That's the only word because I'm fuming. So if you want to take this out because I'm afraid. But nobody dies. <laughs> <laughs> that's a measurement of success well, in Go Loud. <laughs> Did someone die? No, success. Yeah. <laughs> God only knows what happened before we got into this bleeding building, Terence. Must have been a funeral every week. Oh. Right, that's it. Episode 73. <laughs> Take us out, Kino. <laughs> Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app. What you waiting for? What you back in it? Just a little more. Go oh, you with it now. Fill your body up in. Walk it high and low. When you finish that. The hip knocker. Um,